Adrian hey. Penny. Hey, hey, congratulations for the third season of the Orgo. Thank you. Thank you. How does it feel to be back on this show after such a long hiatus? Well, I, we're, we're now finished. Yes. <laughs> well, are we still shooting? Because we could be. I mean, <laughs> but it feels great that it's about to premiere and that everyone is going to see this hard work. I mean, truly hard work. Uh, it was like having triplets <laughs> because you had time to do all that. They all popped out at once. I mean, that's like, that's <laughs> how intense it was. I know. <laughs> Yes. I mean, three, three, three years is a lot is a long time. Even even at um, I watched the first two seasons. I had to revisit, um, you know, the first two seasons again before you know watching any episodes of this this third season. How would you recommend you know fans of the show to to approach this third season? I mean, absolutely. Every, well, I think everybody should revisit the first two seasons as well, um, but. I mean, we shot some of that stuff so long ago, Penny and I were talking earlier, like, I mean, I don't even feel like I'm watching myself. You know what I mean? I forgot what happened in those episodes watching season three um, because it's taken so long to, to, to shoot. But, you know, this season is going to be its own season. So people really need to be aware and watch out for the fact that it's going to blow them away. And every episode is a mini movie. And we're going to tell a really, really fun story this season. I think that's season. actually com completely correct. That I would love for them to uh, watch them just because it'll be fun. But I don't think it's necessary. Right. I think that they are standalone uh, movies. And so if you were going to a movie, you wouldn't watch. Oh, I was getting ready to say the name that we shall not say the name. I think he's canceled now uh, after that slap. But I mean, you don't have to watch every Will Smith movie to, <laughs> to understand what he's doing now. So I, I, I think that they sh the first episode, I think, will reel them in, uh, new people as well. And those who um, were fans from the beginning, they will immediately understand the dynamics, the different characters. And then during the course of the season, they will see the changes and growths and what we, what we, where we go from there. Now for uh, both of you, uh, getting back into character, you know, after um, so many years, is it like uh, riding a bicycle again? <laughs> yes, but maybe you fall off like for the first day a couple of times, but by the second day you're like, oh yeah, got this. You know, you know what? I, that's, that's really good. <laughs> I think the moment I put on that wig and I see that green in the hair, I'm Claire. I just, it's something about the wig with the green in it that I can just, I, I call it, it has a name. I call it Claire hair. Claire so hair. the moment I do Wasn't that, that your yeah. idea? Wasn't that your idea? Yes, yes. I just, mm -hmm. and I did it for the young people. And then I did it for me because it was like the coolest thing ever. So um, I really, the moment I put, it's like putting on a costume. The moment I do put on the, the wig, I'm Claire. <laughs> now, of course, uh, for this uh, upcoming third, third season, they, they changed uh, quite a bit. The bridge, the bridge looks different. Uh, the costumes are a little bit different. Could you, could you talk about that a, a little bit uh, for us on... How we is it refreshing to you to you know to see something new on a show like this? Always, and it's always fascinating. I mean, you know, Penny was even saying earlier, you know, you saw Scott's new toy, and it's just amazing to to see what they've come up with every day, being shocked. And the scope of this season is massive. I mean, it's it's just it, it's epic, even in comparison to second season, which was also massive. So, but it's more comfortable to shoot, though. It was because yeah. the costumes they just got better and better. They did far more comfortable. You they know, you, nothing was riding up your butt, <laughs> <laughs> or the shoe. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I 
oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Someone decided, oh, they didn't have to be so heavy. I mean, wonderful. And then little things that change, it just made you feel so good. So uh, the comfort level, I have to say, was, was, was great. And when, as an actor, you really don't want to think about hair. You don't want to think about makeup and you don't want to think about your clothes. You just want to come in and play. So mm -hmm. when those things are satisfying, you have the ability to just be free and to be as good as you can possibly be. So those things alone were enhanced and it just gave a, a, a better playground to for performance. But you'll see those different things, you know. Those jackets, though, didn't matter what season. That pooch. <laughs> we always had to worry from the side. It always looked like we were having little babies. You always had somebody <laughs> just coming and tugging. Jen just coming and tugging your, your yeah. jacket. Like, it's not yeah. going to work, girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, for people who uh, watched since the first season, um, you know, because Seth is uh, attached to, uh, you know, a show like this, a lot of people thought this was, you know, sort of like a sci-fi parody. But as the show goes on, more episodes and so on, the tone starts to get more serious, especially during the third season. Um, there, it, it tackles some serious issues. Do you like this evolution of uh, the Orville? I love it, especially, I, I truly love it. I think the, the, the first uh, season had more comedic elements in it, but it still touched on subject matters that were important. Um, I, I think we were never a parody because uh, a parody is a almost, it, it's a poking fun, you know, making fun of something. Right. And I, I, think that we were true to situations that happened to be funny. And so that's where the comedy element came. I think in the, in the second season, we got really more grounded with that. And by the third season, we just have far more action inside of that, which are the special effects and all these production values that just enhances it more and more. So um, I love the fact that it has growth, uh, but I don't think we're a different show than what we were. I think we were the same show that grew, if that makes sense. Like anything, like a relationship evolves, you want a show to evolve or it just becomes stagnant and boring. And this, this show is definitely not either of those things. Adrian, is, is Kelly Grayson going to, you know, how, how is the relationship with uh, Captain Mercer going to evolve the, in uh, the third season? We, we, we just love that relationship for some unknown reason. Oh, well, thank you. I love that relationship as well. You know, and it's it's really amazing because, you know, at the end of the second season, there's still that element of sh they want to be together, but she realizes that they can't be because they'll always pick her over the ship or over, you know, other people. And, and starting off, it's you really see that that friendship has become this this beautiful, beautiful thing. And they really can't work without each other. Um, and you see that throughout the entire season. It, it evolves. I can't give you anything else. But you also see other relationships evolve as well. You're going to be in for some pretty big surprises this season. Well, then I, I guess, uh, Penny, you know, your, your character, Claire, seems like a trying to hold everybody together, but yet, you know, you, you're, you have multiple relationships uh, with everybody, including, you know, your two sons. Could you, t could you tease us where this is going on the third season? Well, in the third season, I think she relinquishes part of that um, maternal thing that she actually did hold, you know, the first uh, season and a half. I think it started to dwindle in the second half of the second season, but still very strong. And that she, that goes over to, to Kelly. I think Kelly becomes that maternal uh, uh, person okay. for that. But I think what Claire, what happens with her is that you, Claire begins to grow because, you know, you think at a certain age you're there, but her children, make her grow. Her experience from season uh, two with 
with um, the deception and the betrayal of Isaac, you know, it makes it grow. Uh, so she's constantly growing and you will see some of her backstory finally coming, you know, into fruition and you'll see why and who Claire truly is. And now it's yeah, go ahead. I said, and it's fun. You see where she goes. <laughs> well, then we, we will actually certainly check um, all that out. Well, Adrian, Henny, thank you very much for carrying this conversation for um, the Orville um, New Horizons with us. Um, can't wait to uh, see the rest of the season. Thank, thank you so you. much.